And in continuing with Service Path 4, Chapter 1, the Microsoft Office 2007 Suite, we will be looking at the Office logo found in some of the programs in Microsoft Office 2007. Now, in the beginning of Chapter 1, we said that these are the ribbons and they have replaced the standard uh, menu uh, menus format and I want to discuss this office logo menu because perhaps this will be some answers to some questions you might have. When you click the office logo you have options here on this right panel you have recent opened documents recent documents that you have opened so you can go ahead and open one of these recent documents you have new so you can go ahead and create a new document and when you want to create a new document it'll give you this uh, interface here in which you can have templates very similar to my, uh, Microsoft Publisher you have a choice of these nice templates to choose from and I think these are all coming off the Microsoft Office uh, website yeah they are so these, it, if you're connected to the internet this would be great you can easily find some documents we have some featured legal documents and, and so forth I see installed uh, templates so let's say we wanted to do one and let's do what about a letter um, okay we're gonna download a letter and we see here we have one well, I don't like this um the we're gonna view it into uh, I guess it is the view that's just how it looks uh, what we want to do is we want to zoom out. That's what we want to do. Okay. All right. So the menus are gone, and we're gonna look at this. So we have a new. We get, this is what we just did. We looked at the new uh, button, and it brings up this template chooser. You can also get access to this by going to the All Programs, and it should be found here where it says the new Microsoft Office document it'll bring you up to something like this similar this is um, more off the internet you can download them you have open you can go ahead and open up a recent document you have convert now this is very important to know because Microsoft Office 2007 now uses an uh, XML uh, format for the documents and basically it means it's a, it's a new format so I'm gonna demonstrate we're gonna create a new folder on our desktop oh there it is <laughs> I didn't see it okay so it's right there okay and we're gonna save this we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to save we're gonna save it as a word document and while we're at the save let's look at this we can save as a word 2007 document which means only document only Microsoft Office 2007 can open it very important to know you have a word template which you can save documents in the word 2007 template if you would like to use an old if you want to use your document on previous versions of uh, Windows Microsoft Office in this case word uh, 97 to 2003 you need to save it in this format in order to use your documents in previous versions of uh, Microsoft Office you also have PDF and XPS, which we will discuss in the next video. But we want to save it as a Word document. And 
we're gonna save it in this uh, regular 2007 uh, format. And then we're going to save it again. This time we're going to save it as it were 97 to 2003. I'm going to demonstrate di the differences between the two. So let's close this document and we have this new folder. We have two Word documents. We have this 2007 document and we have this 97 to 2003 document. The 97 to 2003 document is what most people use if they do if they do not have Microsoft Office 2007. This is the uh, format. For 2007 users, this is the format for you. Now, if you have a 97 to 2003 uh, Word document then you and you want to make it into a 2007 you would go to this convert and it will it would convert your document into two, for 2007 now what's the difference the difference is um, some of the options in these ribbons are not compatible with the 97 to 2003 format like the smart art um, tools those that tool is only for uh, documents formatted in uh, 2007. So let's re-save this as a 2003 document. Another way you can tell is by looking at the format itself. We go to properties and look at the properties. want to see the extension that well let's go ahead so we can do the extension we're gonna change the options here and we're looking at the file extension 2097-2003 have the doc um, extension so you can tell that it's an older version and docx is for the 2007 versions of Word, Excel now well um, Excel and Public and PowerPoint, um, they have, I believe, uh, Excel has ELS something like X. Um, but you can tell by looking at the file extensions as well. This is very important to know um, because if you if you're using 2007 and you using and you're using a Word document. And you save it as a 2007 document and you want to edit it on another computer that does not have 2007, you cannot edit your document. So, very important to know that. And PDF and XPS, we will get to that in the next video. Other formats you can save as uh, you go, various pay, uh, web page, web page filter, rich text format, and basic. All these other formats here you can save as. As well as you can have some tools here if you want to look at those tools. Print, you can go ahead and print. You can do a regular print. I want you to have your standard printing um, interface. You also have a quick print, which out of which go ahead and quickly print your uh, document print preview prepare let's talk about prepare you can do properties inspect document which checks for metadata encrypt document restrict permissions add a digital signature mark as final now this is an interesting one if you mark your document as final you cannot edit no more you cannot edit your document at all. I am trying to type, but I cannot type. I can never, well, I cannot edit this document anymore. However, this is not permanent. If you go back to prepare and mark as final, you can take it off. But this is a great way if you want to, uh, if you know you're done with your uh, document and don't want to edit anymore, 
but it's not permanent. You can run compatibility checker, which is good for uh, older versions. Email, email that's a PDF attachment and XPS attachment. We'll, we'll discuss that in the next video. Internet facts and publish to your blog, document manager server, and, and so forth. And we have other options here. We'll probably discuss in the next video as well. So that's it for this video. We just want to look at the office menu in more de detail.